Without a doubt in my mind, I know for a fact, there's some type of entity, there's somebody out there that's doing everything in their power to try, to try and cancel Cardano. Now, don't get me wrong, the obvious thing is to get a little bit bearish with Cardano's recent news. I actually said in one of my live streams, and you guys ripped me apart, you guys ripped me apart for sure. In one of my live streams, I said that Cardano was going to get regulated most likely like XRP. Now that is potentially happening, but don't get your panties in a bunch, okay? Relax, take a deep breath. Life is not over, okay? Life is not over. I specifically said in the intro, as somebody is trying, trying to cancel Cardano. So in this video, I'm gonna go over some recent news that's been getting a lot of buzz in the Cardano world. And then it kind of pointed me to being a little bit bullish. And again, I reluctantly want to be bullish. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I hate Cardano. There's other projects that are doing better. It's as simple as that, right? I'm unbiased. I'm for the gains type of guy. I wanna make money, right? So I wanna be bearish, but what's recently happened has kind of flipped the script for me because it's pretty fishy. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another video. And yeah, the recent news is kind of weird. Uh, Cardano's being attacked for sure. And somebody is trying to cancel Cardano. So I'm gonna go over that news. I'm also gonna go over some of the price action as well as some recent developments. Cardano, we got some DEXs potentially coming out. And of course, some on-chain metrics. No other Cardano guys providing this information. Uh, so if you could do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, subscribe to the handsomest YouTuber on planet Earth. I have a mustache, they don't have a mustache. Simple, straight, forward. Just kidding, it's obviously a joke. If we come over here, the only thing that I'm having an issue with with Cardano is that it's recently been kind of trading sideways and it's reminded me a little bit of XRP. So I've been losing a little bit of hope uh, for you know the potential price increase. Now, I haven't sold any of my Cardano. I have a bag, um, you know, I'm still holding it, but you guys know I'm looking for the juicier altcoins. I'm looking for things with smaller market caps. You know, Cardano had the buzz, like it would be great to buy Cardano over here, um, but it's it looks like it's kind of losing steam. now. They recently had a big news event that everybody was anticipating, which was basically the Bitstamp um, uh, actually launching November 24th. Uh, and it's one of the biggest exchanges in cryptocurrency. Um, they're regulated, uh, you know. And this is what like kind of like got weird because as soon as they're about to launch, the day before eToro announces that they're delisting Cardano by 2022 for US investors, due to regulatory concerns. Now, again, like I said, I said this in my live stream, I specifically said, being that it's a for-profit entity and a lot of people have made money off of selling the tokens, they have a really good chance of being regulated the same way XRP is getting regulated right now and they're being sued by the SEC, okay? It's a top five cryptocurrency, America wants their money, right? So I said that that was a big potential happening. Now, okay, let me just be straightforward. eToro, I have a bad history with eToro, to be honest. They're really greedy. Um, once upon a time, back in the day, when I was, uh, you know, a struggling YouTuber, I did some, you know, for example, like, you know, the affiliate code. You guys know I don't accept sponsorships, but I did like an affiliate code, like, hey, sign up for eToro, get 50 bucks, blah, blah, blah. And they never paid me my money. To this day, they owe me like $5,000. Now, I kind of let it go because they were kind of like just emailing me to oblivion. But the point is, eToro is greedy, and I know this. And this is like obviously speculation, but everything we do is speculation. I hate when people are like, oh, I hate speculators. You're speculating. Okay, you're speculating. Everyone speculates. The whole market, if you're in crypto, you are speculating. If you buy in Bitcoin, you are speculating. So it's okay if I say this, but you know, I'm willing to speculate and say that there, there's a reason why they specifically delisted Cardano. It's probably not for regulatory concerns. I will say that. All I know is that Cardano is coming out with smart contracts. There was like this whole attack campaign on Cardano. There was like a ridiculous attack campaign when they first came out with smart contracts. Everybody was saying that the UTXO model, the extended UTXO model doesn't work. Uh, we had all these Ethereum guys coming out and maybe eToro is doing it for regulatory concerns, but it just seems fishy that the day before it's about to launch on Bitstamp, which is an exchange that's like 15 times bigger than eToro, eToro decides to unlist it. This made me feel a little bit bullish on what Cardano is doing. What also made me a little bit bullish is if you actually look at the price action, Ethereum has been out competing Cardano since August. This is an ADA ETH chart. So meaning when this chart goes up, ADA is getting more percentages than ETH. And then when the chart's going down, ETH is getting more percentages. So you can see all the way since back in August, 
ETH has been destroying ADA, you would have been 57.42% more profitable if you held ETH, that's a lot of percentages, over ADA, which I've been holding ETH, I have vast majority ETH. But the point is that, that might reverse, okay? You see that we have these kind of parabolic events and we're coming up and I wish I had more uh, trading history, but we're coming up kind of like on this maybe support right here. So again, you guys know I like to look for undervalued gems and it looks like Cardano compared to all the other smart contracts might be slightly undervalued. And again, like this is where I wanna buy, right? This is where I wanna buy. So I have to flip a little bit bullish. That's where my thoughts are going right now. I don't wanna buy Cardano here right? I want to buy Cardano here, right? So, you know, it's a good price, right? Basically, the recent news is that they're coming out with the Bitstamp listing, right? It's happening today. Uh, Etoro delisted them to try to like diminish that news. Uh, they did some recent updates where they're increasing the block size, right? There's a lot of transactions on Cardano. They're increasing it by about 12.5% increase. I'm sure you watch all the other Cardano videos, so I'm not here to waste your time. I want to provide information that nobody else is providing, so I'm not going to go over this, but they're obviously making tweaks on the Cardano ecosystem. The ecosystem's growing still to today's date. Let's look at the facts, right? Let's look at you know, what's actually going on. We have some DEXs that are going to launch relatively soon. So they still have, what I'm saying, is a lot of bullets in their chamber, right? There's so many news events that is gonna catalyze Cardano. I can't sit here and tell you that Cardano is a Ponzi scheme and doesn't have any products at all because it does. It has a whole flourishing ecosystem. It's just they're developing a little bit different from what we're used to and people don't like change, right? Um, so a lot of tax on Cardano, I will say that, and that kind of flipped me a little bit bullish. Here's also kind of a timeline. You know, they're actually launching, if we kind of scroll over here, um, quarter four, uh, 2022, they're launching the DynaSwap foreign exchange. If we come over here, quarter four, 2021, you can see that they're doing their token generation event that's happening. This is Adrena Roadmap. We talked about this coin before. We see like MinSwap and a lot of the Cardano decentralized exchanges like moving, they're moving. They're making things happen. They just don't want to break it. They don't want to break uh, the Cardano ecosystem. Also, the on-chain metrics, uh, just to briefly go over it, my goal is not to waste your time. Um, as you can see here, total wallets with balances have been increasing with the price of Cardano, and it's not stopping. That's the green line right there. Some other on-chain metrics, as you can see, the number of large transactions are dropping, and that's a good sign. Um, the reason I say that is because you can see the last time this happened, we made some support here, and we see it even falling below this uh, line of support here. So this is a little bit bullish, I would say. Uh, also, the in and out money, if we look at some on-chain metrics for Cardano, the green is at the top. That's like when you want to get rid of Cardano. When we see kind of same thing happening, the green dropping, right? Basically, what this is saying is if everybody sold Cardano now, who would be in the money and who would be out of the money? Who would have made money and who would have lost money? And you can see that uh, we're kind of falling. We're getting to this point right here. Same case as last time. There's a lot of people that have lost money and they're not going to sell at a loss, right? So that's really interesting. Pretty much a lot of on-chain metrics is pointing bullish. Number of transactions just skyrocketed. I think it's because of the Bitstamp, uh, you know, listing as well as eToro. You know, there's a lot of people moving money, so that's a good thing. Um, and then if we look at the actual Twitter sentiment, even with all of this FUD, I don't know if it's FUD. I mean, it's just eToro. They're shady, man. eToro shady. I've dealt with them. But you know, even with all this like news, we still have an overall positive sentiment for Cardano. There's only a select few people talking negative. So in general, the community looks good. So I just wanted to kind of just address this right here. Now, I'm not a perfect person at all. I've just been in cryptocurrency for a long time and I call it like I see it, right? I wanted to make a bearish video, but it's not really bearish. It's already been bearish. If you would have asked me a month ago, which exactly what I was saying, I was bearish. I was like, hey, look, it's probably not a time to accumulate Cardano. But now I'm saying that if you want a pretty good safe bet, it might be a good time to scoop up Cardano. Now, personally, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not doing that at all. I have my bag. I'm letting it go. I'm staking it. I'm getting some rewards from that. I'm getting some decentralized exchange coins uh, because I stake to their pool. You know, I'm letting it ride. If I see Cardano drop more, maybe I might accumulate some. Maybe I might convert my whole entire Ethereum bag into Cardano for this reason right here. What I've been telling you guys, this reason right here, I do expect that eventually Cardano is going to start out competing Ethereum by percentage gains, whether it's the end of this year, whether it's the start of next year, quarter one of 2022, because we know that they're going to start coming out with some real products at the start of next year. So this is the time to start thinking about that, right? You don't want to think about it when the news is out. You want to think about it when everybody's scared of ADA. And the fact that they're trying to attack it this aggressively, 
it begs the question, right? Why are they attacking it and spending so much money trying to take down Cardano? I'm going to leave the video just like that, short, sweet, to the point. That's my thoughts and concerns. I don't need to update you about random news events in the Cardano space that have nothing to do uh, with the price action of the coin. I see a lot of people that just make their whole channel just about one coin and then they don't have anything to talk about and they're just kind of saying random things. That's pretty much what's happening in Cardano right now. It's uneventful, okay? It's uneventful, I will say that. But that's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism, subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, well, you get left behind. Catch you guys in the next video.